So guys, I'm Kevin for King and I'm back with another Clash Royale video. Yeah. So <clears throat> as we know, there are like updates every month in Clash Royale and this time it's for the executioner. It's a new card and I have never not caught it until now. Supercell you have to do something. So there is a balance change coming in February 30. Okay. Notes these chains are not live yet, they are coming in February 13. Not live yet, it means that the the percentage chains can be like vary <coughs> according to what the developers are trying to do. The way we approach card balance in Clash Royale is a combination of playtesting and looking at the stats, in particular cards use rate and win rate. We can expect monthly balance chains to keep gameplay fine-tuned and as fun as possible. This is mainly to uh, <clears throat> like not have a meta or make any card more OP than others. Like because once you have like that trend of that like meta barbarian that is the elite barbarian, it just sticks to the mind that everybody has to put a baller to defend it or lead barbarian as to attack so this should not be done like you should not be limited towards using or countering that card but rather you need to have your own freedom in using it so in this round of balance chains we are turning down the executioner and boosting a few under use card like which dark prince because they are now like they were found in lower arena and they were used in lower arena but in the higher arena they are just like used as a fireball and it's all gone so baby dragon dark prince witch and more executioner damage minus six percent this doesn't change that much but it varies on uh, when you use it with a like <coughs> more hp card like golem or pekka or balloon lava hound like that Okay, range from 4.5 to 5. This range can like do a lot of fine tuning between like minion horde and skeleton army, but useless against other things, I guess. And X hit hit radius minus 10 percent executioner power level is clearly too high for a troop that does it all however this is partly due to few bugs that we are fixing in the next update so we are taking it into account with so this changes reducing his damage range and the amount of stuff his axe can hit at once should rim him in okay poison duration to 8 seconds from 10 seconds so poison is also getting nerfed but the damage per second is plus 24% so that's gonna cover up the poison duration so the duration is decreased but the damage per second is increased so it will basically kill uh i guess it will kill the goblin barrel faster and and minion horse also i guess so after this change, poison will be more reliable at getting its damage down, it will deal more damage with each tick, but roughly the same damage over the duration, skeleton will pop in one tick instead of two, making it much better against skeleton armies and graveyard, yeah, it helps against graveyard actually, it will be a good counter against graveyard, and a viable alternative to firebug again, yeah, because both are four elixir, so which will have a damage plus six percent so that's really good our use rate is really low in the later arenas and high win challenges but it is quite good uh, elsewhere so it is basically talking about class of plan i guess so we are looking to give it her a uh, small boost without overpowering her in the early games this change will allow her to one shot equally level skeletons okay Pekka deploy time to 1 second from 3 seconds. This is going to be like really good because for elite barbarians and uh, sparkies I guess it, it turned out to be a very good disaster because the Pekka's like deploy time was really slow and it took a lot of time so it is like helping like it, the deploy time is like 
decrease from 40% like that. So we are aiming to make Pekka more usable and bit more nimble to play without breaking her identity as a big burly robot. Darkness 8 point plus 5%. I don't want to talk about darkness but because it's like <coughs> darkness is not used anymore. Like darkness and prince they are in a like different factors and darkness it doesn't have much of a like counter to it like if you use a dark prince against a barbarian it will overpower it and you'll have a negative trade if you use it against skeleton armies it's going to be like mm -mm, no <coughs> it's not really good because of that shield i guess it has a good a bit of an advantage but i don't think much okay. maybe dragon range from 3.5 to 3 it's good okay it will be helpful for the minions and mini horde and mega minions i guess skeletons count to four from three okay that's will it even change anything <laughs> because the witch can one shot it and oh it will help against pekka i guess because for four skeletons you can like split push them and pekka will be more distracted yeah it will help but a jab can kill them skeleton army 15 from 16 so skeleton army is nerfed because that one skeleton can deal over 100 of damage and these are all these are the balance changes and i think yeah executioners should have received a nerf i've watched many videos on it it's deck but i have not got one personally i don't know why i've got the battle ram already the dark goblin but executioner is like i don't have luck i even got the tornado once it was released so super Seal, please can you give me the executioner or maybe you can give me tomorrow like epic sunday so that i can ask for it please so thanks for watching guys and hope you like my video so if you wanted to know about the ballot change and you knew it uh, make sure to drop a like and subscribe it really helps and peace